and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through all the steps you need to take in order to create a freebie to give away to new email subscribers. We're going to create a landing page where they can sign up on. We're going to create a thank you page that they can be directed to after they opt in. And I'm also going to show you how you can deliver your freebie through a welcome email sequence or a welcome email when they sign up. Now step one is to create your freebie and there are a number of tools that you can use to help you with this depending on what it is you're offering. We're going to use the example of a PDF download. So what you can do is come into Canva, click create a design in the top right hand corner and select either presentation or A4 document. So we're going to do A4 document. And then here under the first tab templates, you can literally just search free lead magnet and it's going to bring up templates that are already created for you and you can customize to your own brand. So you just see one you like, click on it. It's going to give you the different pages available. You can just click on the pages and you can mix and match them too. So say you like this one and you like this here, you can play around and customize it and then you would just switch out your text and your colors. Now in order to put this video together I had to set up a freebie on my site and my freebie is a free lead magnet template, you'll see it here, it's just a simple one. So if you want access to this you can get uh, access to this for free and use this as your base, there's a link in the description. And to customize this one, you would just click on the various elements. So here we've got the background. We'd click on document color here. We'd add a new color and then we would change this out to our brand color, either by pasting in the hex code, playing around with the color wheel, or we can upload an image here. Say we upload this one. We can then click on the background again, click on this color, click the plus icon, and then use this color picker to hover over the image and find our brand color. And then once we're happy with it, we'll just click and it will automatically change that out. Now this here is a frame, so you would upload an image of yourself or you would search for a picture. And um, if I just search for, let me just search for women. And we'll pick this one here and I would just drag it in and I can click and I can play around with this. I can make it bigger or smaller. I can also remove this completely if I wanted to and just delete this. And then I could click this image or any image and change it out. So you can really customize it to make it your own. When it comes to text, you could just click on the text and here you can change out the text. And what's really great is if you click this, you have an option here in the bottom left hand corner that says change all and that will automatically change out all of the text throughout the lead magnet so you don't have to do a lot of work to customize it. The same is true for color so if we click on this color at the bottom we change it to green you can hit change all and it's going to change that on every page that it would be appearing on. You can also look at elements and you can add multiple different elements to make it your own. We could search for a flower, add this in here. Now one note, if you use one of these elements over a frame, it will try to go into a frame. The way you get around this is by clicking on the element, the frame and clicking this lock in the top right hand corner and that will get rid of that and that way you can pull this over and it's not going to affect it. So you can use that as a base and once you're done you'll hit download and you're going to download this as a PDF document. Now once that's downloaded there's loads of places that you can store this. I personally try to keep it simple so we're in Google Drive here and I'm just going to upload my freebie to um, Google Drive. Now step two is to create our landing page where people can opt into our freebie. So come into pages Go down to the not link section, click the plus icon, add a blank page, give it a name and then once you've done that hit edit on the page. So click to add a new section and I'm going to choose one under headlines. You can start from blank if you want. We'll select this one. I'm going to change out this background here so click the pencil icon, change the background. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to add a new one and I'm going to use unsplash images. So I'm going to search for some free images. I'll just search some green leaves. Now I've got one. I'm just going to select it, add a new image 
come down and change the opacity. I'm going to change this to 30. And then I'm going to click out and I'm going to add some text. So double click in and add your text. Make this header one. And I'm going to make this paragraph one. Delete this button because I don't need it. And then I'm going to add a new section again. And this time I'm going to select blank. I'm going to create two columns with spacers. I'm going to add some text here. Now if we move over to the section on the right, we're going to add a promotional graphic. So hover over, click the blue plus icon and select image. Now here we can add our graphic. If you don't know what to include here, I've included some promotional graphics here that will be included with this template kit. So you can click the link in the description to access this. And what we're going to do is come into our freebie lead magnet that was already done and completed and edited. Download this, but this time download it as PNG images. That's going to give you a zip file. Just click to open that up. And then what you can do is you can come into this promotional kit and you can upload these images. Now once that's done, just pick the pages you want to promote here and you're going to drag them into the frame. So you literally just have to click and drag them in. Once you've done that, hit download. Make sure you've got transparent background selected and we're just going to download the first page. So hit that, hit download. Now if you don't have a Canva Pro account, you won't be able to download on a transparent background. In that case, click on the background, click the color, click the plus icon and then paste in the background of your website. That way it will match when you upload it. So let's go ahead and do that now. We can then come back into our site here, we'll click plus and we'll upload our image. We would then want to give it some image alt text and change the file name to optimize it for search. Now I'm going to hover over to the top right hand corner here, click the pencil icon and I'm going to change the color here to light one. And you see because I've downloaded it on a transparent background, it looks fine. Again, if your site was this color and you didn't have the free version, you'd have to match it. So I'm going to come down here and add a newsletter block. Now your newsletter block might look a little bit different, but it'll have all these elements in here. You'll give it a name, change out subscribe, change the description, change the disclaimer. Disclaimer. You can also change the sign up, so you can put grab it now, something like that. You can require a name field, and then here under post submit, you can put a thank you um, message, or you can redirect to a thank you page. So we're going to go ahead and create a very, very basic thank you page to show you how that's done. So for now, I'm just going to leave that. We'll come back and start that in a second. So hit save. I'm going to go to the not link section again, click the plus icon, add a blank page, give it a name. And I'm going to start by clicking this gear icon here, scrolling down to SEO and hiding this page from search results because I don't want it to appear in search results. So hit save. I'm going to hit edit on my page, click to add a new section. This time I'm just going to go with blank. I'm going to add some basic text in here. Now you can get creative here in a number of ways. You can either give them direct access to the lead magnet here on the thank you page or you can deliver it through email and here you could have something like your freebie is on its way. In the meantime, check out these videos, check out these resources, or you can even use this as a tripwire page to offer a low ticket offer to your audience here. We're going to keep it simple and put access your freebie and we're still going to set it up through email. So here I'm going to click the blue plus icon. I'm going to add a button. So I've just put access now. And then here in the link section, here you can do a couple of things. So you can click this gear icon. You can click on file and you can upload your file directly here. You'll see here I've got an example one. You would just click on this and save and that way they can access it by clicking the link. The other thing you can do is you can do web address and then you would come into your lead magnet here. Click on it. Hit this uh, link button up here. Make sure this is changed to anyone with the link. You would then copy the link 
come back in and you would paste this in here and open it in a new window. Hit save and it would work like that. And you can play around with the design too. So I could click here, I can make the content with small, I could give it a background again, click the plus icon, I could search for another stock image or I could upload my own. I'm going to change the color here so it's easy to see. And I am also going to come down to image effect here and I'm going to make it liquid just to give it a little bit of movement. So that's one way to do it. Hit done and save. So we've got our thank you page. I'm going to come back into my lead magnet page now. Click edit. Scroll down and now we can connect our newsletter block. So we're going to click the pencil icon again here and now we can set this up. So scroll down and under post submit, we can go to redirect, click this gear icon here and we can search for the page we want to connect to. So I'm going to connect to my thank you page now, hit save come back out and now we have to connect to for this form to storage. So if we're doing e Squarespace email campaigns, we would just click here, check our email list. If we wanted to create a new one, we'd have to set that up and then hit back. If you're not using Squarespace email campaigns, you can click here and connect to MailChimp or you can set it up through Zapier. I have an email marketing training separately, so I'll include a link to that below if you are not using Squarespace email campaigns, but we'll stick with this for now. So once you've done that, that's all set up and you can just hit done. So we've created our freebie, we've created our landing page, our thank you page, we've connected the two and we've also plugged up our newsletter subscribe form to our email marketing provider. The last step is to deliver a welcome email where we include another link so that they can access this freebie or this free PDF. So again, I'm going to do this with Squarespace email campaigns. It will work very similar with your email marketing provider. Um, check the email marketing training for more support with that. So if we come out of here, I'm going to go to marketing, email campaigns, automations, and I'm going to add a new automation. And here I'm going to welcome new subscribers. And here you can select a template, whatever one you like. I'm just going to go with write a note because I like it to be quite blank. Select here, select use this template. And then here you've got these blocks and you can just customize this out to what you want to share. So I'm just going to delete all of this and start from scratch because it's a little bit easier. So I'll just put welcome. And what you can do is use these curly brackets and put first name. And if they don't put in a first name, you would put something in here. So I'll just put friend. Uh, you can add an image if you want. So let's go ahead and do that. Click add image. So I've added a GIF in here. And then underneath, I'm going to put click to add some text. And I'm just going to add some text. So here I've put thank you so much for signing up. You can now access your free lead magnet kit by clicking the button below. So I'm going to click plus. I'm going to add a button in here. And this time when I hit the gear icon, there's no option to upload a file directly. So this is why we need to um, house it somewhere. We'll come back into our... Google Drive um, file, we'll copy the link, come back in here, I'm going to paste it in, hit save, and I can scroll down, change how this looks if I want, make it to my site, and I can also double click on the text to change this. Now you can also add some extra information in here, like what to expect on a weekly basis, that kind of thing. I'm just going to keep it simple for this tutorial. You would then come into email and then under automation, you can choose when you want to send this. So you'd select your mailing list, set up a separate one if it's for a separate freebie from other ones you're offering on your site. And then choose the timing. So I'm going to put immediately, but you can customize this here. So this is immediately once they sign up. Give it a subject line. Make sure all this information is okay. And then when you're ready to activate, you just hit activate automation. And that's everything set up.
Now, the last step of this process is to go through as a subscriber and sign up for it so that you can check that everything is working and running smoothly. Thank you so much for watching, my friend. I hope that you found this valuable. Now, I mentioned that this free lead magnet kit, the template, is available for you. And you can use this as the base for creating your freebie or you can use this as a starting point for inspiration. If you'd like to access it, the link is in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and hitting the subscribe button. If you have any other questions or tutorial requests that I can help you with, leave those in the comments too. I try to read and respond to every single one of them. Thank you.